Are you looking to buy or sell a home or condo in Windsor, Essex County? Stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to share with you the stats for February and what these numbers means to you if you are thinking of buying or selling a home or condo in our local area. Hey, 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 guess what time it is? It is another market update recap for the month of February. Hey, everyone. My name is Chris Romatar. I'm from The Rail Broker. I'm located here in Windsor, Essex County, and I'm all about Windsor, Essex County, what's happening, real estate and promoting local businesses as well as community events. If you ever wanted to know what's going on in our local real estate market, hit the link below and subscribe to our weekly email market update and you will get all information or follow me on any social media platform. And don't forget to hit that like button if you're getting value from our content and our videos. Make sure you stick around to the end because I will explain to you what is happening if you're thinking of buying or selling a home or condo in our local area. Here is our residential market recap for the month of February. Listings are down by 10.25% or 71 homes. In February 2023, there were 621 homes listed on MLS as compared to 692 homes in February 2022. Sales are down by just over 52.5% or 312 homes. In February 2023, there were 281 homes sold as compared to 593 homes sold in February 2022. The average sale price is down by 25.64%. In February 2023, the average sale price is almost $533,000 as compared to just over $716,000 in February 2022. That's a decrease of $183,000 in value, which is quite huge in my opinion. Median sale price is down by almost 25.5% in February 2023. The median sale price is $492,000 as compared to $660,000 in February 2022. That's a decrease of $168,000 in value which again is a big drop in value. Here's our year to date market data. Listings are down by almost 1% or 12 homes. We had 1,229 homes were listed on MLS as compared to 1,241 homes listed in the same time in 2022. Sales are down by 48.33% or 508 homes. In February 2023, there were 543 homes sold as compared to 1,051 homes sold in the February 2022. Once again, a big drop in numbers. Our sale price is just over $524,000 as compared to just over $685,000 in 2022. That's a decrease of over 23% or $161,000 in value. Median sale price is $488,000 as compared to $634,000 in 2022. That's a decrease of almost 23% or $46,000 in value. Once again, the numbers are down. Early in this video, I promise you what to expect if you're thinking of buying or selling a home or condo in our local area. As of March, right now, what I'm seeing, we have the lower entry level homes are having multiple offers, normally selling without any conditions such as a home inspection or a financing condition. We're having offers in the multiples, meaning that 5, 6, 10, 18, sometimes as high as 24 so far, which I've been personally involved in. And uh, those homes are selling way above list price, 40, 50, 60, some of them 100 over list price. But this is the entry level price point of the market. So these are mostly first time home buyers um, where I'm seeing this quite often. Now there's some higher price homes where you're seeing multiple offers as well. Personally, I haven't been involved in that, but that's what I'm hearing from my other colleagues out there. The market seems to be picking up, but I always caution anyone looking to buy and sell. Make sure it makes sense for you and your family. Make sure your numbers are within reason. Um, if you must sell, you sell. If you can stay where you are without having to sell, I'd say stay where you are. Uh, if you have to buy and uh, we could find your home at a great price with terms and conditions satisfactory to you and they make financial sense to you, then we'll move forward. If it's something where you're gonna find yourself like up to your nose in debt and payments and mortgages and whatnot, I would say, just wait and see how it goes. Ultimately, you make that choice. I can't make it for you. What we could do or I could do for you is to educate you, to give you value. And I always try to put myself in your shoes. So I said, hey, this is, if I were you, this is what I would do. But ultimately, once again, the final decision rests with you. So that's where we are right now. Um, patience is the key for your seller with a higher price point home. I mean, if you price it well, and you do all your prep and make sure you hire a great agent. You market it well, you're realistic in terms of your expectations. I think you will get the price you want. 
but you have to be realistic, you have to be patient, you have to have an agent that have very strong negotiating skills as well as proven track record and who can market your home well. Ultimately, price dictates everything, so if you price your home well and it shows well, it will sell for the right buyer. We don't need 10, 12, 15 offers. That's great for you as a seller, but all we need is one good offer that makes sense for you and your family based upon your situation. Let me know what you think in the comment below about our local housing market. One more thing, let me know what you think if the Bank of Canada is gonna raise interest rates in the next meeting that they have together, or they're gonna decrease it or they'll stay put. I would like to know your opinion on what you think is gonna happen. Personally, me, I don't wanna give you any prediction. I think they're gonna stay put or worst case scenario, they raise it a quarter point basis. That's what I feel, but let's see what happens. If you would like for us to help you in any way, please contact us or leave a comment on this video. We would love to talk to you a little bit more about your goals and how we can help you. Take care, stay safe, have a great day, have a great week, have a great month. Talk to you soon, bye now.